Hey folks, Michael Kincaid here. Just gonna do some quick testing on vertical speed and horizontal speed to see how fast the Phantom 3 Professional will go. And we're gonna do two tests, actually four tests. Two with the vertical, with the prop guards, vertical and horizontal, and then we'll do it again without the prop guards. So, right now, we do have the prop guards on. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see what happens. Hey now, still trying to get this exposure stuff down. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh, work on Go ahead and shoot this thing up and get a vertical speed and see what we can get out of her up to 400 feet. So here we go, full throttle all the way up to 400 feet. Make sure there's nothing above this, and there's not. There we go. Right now we are at 397 feet, touched over just a little bit. And we're not gonna definitely break any speed records bringing it back down because you don't want to do that because of the prop wash from what I've heard. So we'll just bring her back down nice and slow. But I think we saw, we got them up to about 11, 11 and a half miles an hour straight up and that's with the prop guards. We go all right we're gonna go and run this thing and do a horizontal speed test there we go full throttle bring her up a little bit there, I'm gonna run her back this way bring some altitude to it See if that's a good long straight shot and just hammer down. So it is full throttle with the prop guards on. Going to, I believe we're going against the wind. Oh yeah, it's fighting the wind big time. So 18, all right, let's bring her back. Now we got the tailwind against us, so we should be able to get some speed going this way. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. 14, 18, 20, 22, 25, 26, 28, 28, 31, 31 miles an hour. So right at 30 miles an hour. All right, so let's bring her back. Oh, where are we at? So we are going to bring her down, go ahead and land her, nice and gentle, hold the stick down to the props, quit turning, actually lay the control down for a second. Officially and they are officially off. Boom. Alright, so test number two. Now we're going for the same test with the prop guards off. Start the motors. 
Motors are started. All right, it is up in the air. And without, let's go. And again, this is without the prop guards. Looks to be about the same. Wouldn't stop her there. Got a little high last time. We'll bring her down. Alrighty. Finally back down. First time flying without the prop guard, so it just looks totally weird to me. But I'm weird, so what's the matter? Alrighty, we're gonna go for the speed run now. So it gets some altitude and off we go. Gonna we'll start down here and go back up into it. So we'll start there, spin her around at full altitude, and hammer down full throttle. Twenty six, and that's going into the wind this time. Going into the wind. All right. All right. Now we should have the tailwind behind us on this run. Aim right there, and here we go. Full throttle. Here we go. We got it up to thirty last time. Thirty one. Thirty two. it so I'm not sure what it got up to but it definitely looked like it was faster it got up to 32 miles an hour or so but yeah that concludes our test so we'll put this together and see what the uh, how she compares but I believe that Without a doubt, obviously, without the prop guards, it's definitely a little bit faster, but really not a huge, notable difference. So just for tip-overs, and, you know, it's my first Phantom that I've owned, so I'm loving it. So I would recommend the prop guards. So anyhow, thanks for checking out the video, and we will see you on the next one.